Do you watch any Mr. Beast videos? Uh, yeah, actually. You know what happens with me with Mr. Beast videos? I'm subscribed, but I don't click it, but I'll be scrolling on the app, and then I just watch the first few 15 seconds. The next thing I know, I watch the whole video without clicking. Like, I'm so, it actually, like, gets my attention so much. Or, like, halfway through, I'm like, fuck it, Alicia. Okay, like, let's click and actually watch and, like, read some comments. But every time I'm like, oh, I see the thumbnail. I see the title. And then the autoplay starts playing. And the autoplay starts playing, and I'm just kind of, like, looking at it. And then the next thing I know, I watch the whole thing. Like, every single time. He kills it. Like, it's genuinely incredible. Oh, my God, yeah. I told you how one time I talked to him on the phone. And no. I asked for like, oh my God. So I <laughs> I asked for a billion dollars. <laughs> no, I was like, hey, can you give me a million dollars? Um, so I've never met him before, but I posted a video years ago because I, I love doing videos like how to be a YouTuber, how to be an influencer, how to make money from this job and doing this, which I want to post more of those. But I posted one forever ago and it was so funny because I remember thinking this video flopped. It didn't perform well, blah, 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 blah. And I was really down on myself. And then uh, TK was working for me at the time and she goes, Mr. Beast commented on your video and remember how, which they still do. There's so many bots and uh, just spam commenters who pretend to be Mr. Beast. I thought for sure it was that. And she's like, no, it's actually him. And I forget, I had meant showed him in the video as an example of someone who's like killing it, etc. So he commented something like, hey, that's me. Or I don't know, something like that. And Tiki was like, you should DM him and be like, hey, what are the odds? Like we could hop on a phone call and like you can like, uh, roast my channel or something like just like look it over or whatever and he was like sure so we end up on a phone call that turns into which he was so nice and he probably doesn't even remember me but I remember being so like you do not have to do this also I'm like so in a whole different niche like I'm I mean, compared to his, at the time, he had to have at least still had like 50 million subscribers and I know he's like over 100 million now um but he was like yeah so like I came across your video and I was watching because I like like watching those types of videos and then you men mentioned me and I thought that that was so funny so I commented blah 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 he was like I love learning about other influencers and verticals how they started etc so it's on we were honestly we we're just talking about like that type of business stuff and he was like yeah I spend like one or two hours a day just brainstorming ideas like that's all I do like I and like I go for a walk and just brainstorm for a minimum of like two hours a day and I was like so, he, so I basically was like, roast my channel. Like, what do you think? And he was like, well. Were you filming this? No, I should have. But I like, I didn't want to, I don't know. Oh, you just wanted to learn from him. Yeah. Got but initially it. I was like, oh, like that'd be a funny video. But also I just, I never want to bother anyone. I'm like, oh, I don't want you to think I'm using you. So I was just like, like, you know, like, let's just have a phone call instead. Um, And yeah, it was really interesting. I should have filmed it because I like, forget half of it. But I remember that was a huge thing that stood out. And then I don't know if it's changed, but he was like, yeah, I also don't have any TVs in my house because I don't want to be distracted from my content and stuff. And I was like, that is crazy. But then I brought up burnout because that was a huge thing for me. So I was like, it's inevitable for everyone. Like, call me when you get burnt out because like it will happen if you do not delegate. But at the time, I think he still had like 30 employees then, but like it wasn't really well known. So when he told me that, I was like, wow, that's a lot of employees. Like, at least you have a lot of help doing this because there's no way. But that was also before. I feel like now, I mean, now his videos are fucking crazy. Like, every single one is a huge, It's, I mean, it's a movie, every single one. Did you change anything about your channel after he went through it? It was really hard because I understand from the the clickbait, like, vi like I understand that realm but lifestyle is so different because people just want to see me doing my laundry or like making my coffee. So I felt like I took a lot of things with a grain of salt, but tried to figure out how I could apply it to myself. Do you know what I mean? And did you? Yeah, I think the biggest thing was I was still coming out of my burnout era then. So it was hard. It, I was very aware of that's how I used to be. I used to be way more like, let's do crazy things and try to outdo myself. But also taking into account my own mental health and just realizing I, like I can't do that. Also, I'm, I'm not trying to have 40 employees. So I think I think that was a really I don't know, but I respect the shit out of him.